this particular trip didn't go as planned moved twice didn't see a carp no action whatsoever well that's the uh, that's the reality of these rivers exploring trying different stretches you never know whether you're going to catch or not literally uh, you think you're in the right spot but you could be two miles three miles from the nearest carp but that's the beauty of it if you look around absolutely gorgeous scenery you won't see another soul no no bivvies no gaps in the trees it's that overgrown it's impossible to get down to the bank absolutely fantastic it is for me this is a pinnacle of carp fishing really forget about the giant sized carp there's big carp in here there's every chance you're going to catch a 50 pounder but it's, it's the unknown it's the unknown what does it for me and the lack of the lack of people as well knocking about it's left to your own devices which is so rare this day and age all right well even though i've caught nothing i'm happy as anything and um, i'm just gonna crack on and um, wish you all the best Well, I've stopped at this um, lovely location. I've, I've chosen it because I've got this lovely um, snaggy area about 40 yards down the near margin. And I've seen a carp bosh, literally just travelling down the river, seen a carp just head and shoulder right near the snag. So I'm, I'm going to put a bottle rig out there, and that'll give me the best chance of um, hooking and landing them. And across the far margin, I've got all types of lovely um, trees which have fell in over the years. Right, it's time to put a couple of rods out got a bottle rig ready to go down that near side margin it's quite snaggy down there that's why I'm fishing a bottle rig giving me the best chance of landing a fish and I'm going to put a rod on the far side as well <laughs> got everything ready in the boat oh no I haven't need my boilies It's a perfect spot this from a bottle rig. Got a load of snags just down the margin. Got a lovely depth under this about 11 foot here. Got a line of boat up perfect to have. Quite a strong crosswind so it's a bit tricky. Absolutely perfect that. Just gonna lift it up, make sure it's sat nice. Oh yeah, it's lovely that. We'll get some bait around it, a few tigers. A bit further out, otherwise I'm gonna cross my line here. Bait around it.
dropping this one on the same line as that bottle rig but it's going to be about another 10 foot deeper it is it's going to be about 24 foot here Let's see what depth they're trying to feed it in. Perfect. Let's take some bait out there. Tighten up ever so gently so I know exactly where the bait is. I can bait up absolutely perfect then. Alright, when the rods are out and fishing, very autumn like it is now. Big flow pushing through, 10 ounce, 2 and out, 12 ounce leads needed. Rods are out, ready for action. A little insight of my, um, my cabin. This is exactly what it's like, I haven't tied it up, <laughs> this is what it's always like. Got a little cooker, got a brew on the go there. It's like, it's only small, but everything is packed. All little pots and pans hid down there. In fact, everywhere really. Nice little cupboard there, full of grub. Picture of the missus, to remind me what a beautiful woman looks like. <laughs> and a little two birth cabin. Certainly big enough for me. Total dump at the moment, if I'm honest, but <laughs> that's me most of the time. Yes, come on. Let's have a brew. Can't beat a brew. Rods are out. Let's get a tea bag in there. Rods are out. Got some Yorkshire tea. Nothing better than the first cuppa once you've got your rods out. I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah, I am probably one of the world's worst cooks. So I have a liver of porridge, porridge and fruit, and um, these are lovely. These from the um, French supermarkets, ham and cheese, toasties, and um, done in the Ridge Monkey. Absolutely lovely. Even I can't mess this up. Lovely low heat, beautiful. Wow, 
you know, I said I couldn't mess even the toast up. Just got distracted. Burn. Damn. I'm still going to eat it, though. <laughs> well, I've just done that cheese and ham toast there. And despite it being burnt, it was actually pretty nice. So I'm just going to have some dessert now. And my dessert is jam on toast. Yes. Can't beat a bit of jam and toast. Old French jam there. I think it's all right. Let's have a look at it. In the boat for a while, let me make sure there's no mold. But oh, no, it's all right, a little bit of mold, but nothing dreadful. I do, I can never be accused of having a bad diet or very healthy stuff here in the boat. You even got some orange, spot some oranges down there, a bit of wheat, a bix in the morning. We've got them um, spying some mushrooms there as well. Oh, our grand stuff. Oh, look at that beautiful brew. A peek outside, the rods are fishing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hey, I had a drop back there. Hey, oh. Yes, near side margin, rods just ra rattled off. We're in flood conditions, so it's been mega tough. Yes, come on. <laughs> half tore off this this thing you know what just didn't expect to catch a fish if I'm honest in the back end of that storm Alex which has just battered the whole of Europe there were massive floods I can only fish close to the boat but I thought oh I'm still gonna do it it just shows it's always worth it <laughs> don't feel that big this one but it's a river fish and all oh, river fish to me are <laughs> special. Oh yes. <laughs> Go on. Bottle rig doing the business. Oh, it's nice coming that. Oh, beautiful. It's a nice fish that. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. An absolutely stunning fish. Oh, I've got to be so careful. There's a few snags on the bottom round here. Don't be losing this close to the boat. Oh! So close to the boat. <laughs> oh, that's a long fish. How long is that? Oh, look at that for a fish. Yes, it's in the net. Oh, <laughs> that's some fish that. Such a beautiful fish. Look at that. Look at the colours and that. How golden is that? It's absolutely beautiful. I'm over the moon to catch that. Yes, sir. Well, this is a fish I just caught. Check it out. What a beautiful fish. How's this for a long, golden river common? <laughs> absolutely over the moon with this beauty. You know what? The last two days. It's been um, Storm Alex, the whole of Southern Europe has been battered, the river's in flood. Everybody thinks I've got no chance, but just keep persevering, keep working at it. And the rod just fished five yards from the boat, went off. <laughs> That's the furthest I could fish out, any further out, and I'm getting wiped out. But, ooh, yes, what a stunner. So made up with that. <laughs> Absolutely stunning river carp. Let's put it back. Mwah! Oh, it's not been out long, this one. Just absolutely melted off. 
down and fishing a mega tight clutch as well. But I'm fishing a new spot, not near no snag, so I don't have the fish completely locked up. It looks a nice fish. It was savage, the initial 30 seconds was just savage. And I think I've tied it out in that 30 seconds. Oh yeah, it looks a lovely fish that. Beautiful fish that. Oh, look at that. You caught a river fish that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, go on, get in that net. Yes. Oh, yes, look at that. Beautiful that. See, it'd be lovely golden colours on that one. Stunner. Yeah. <laughs> An absolute beauty that is. Yes. <laughs> we had a massive storm last night on the boat. Boat was rocking everywhere, but these fish just make it worthwhile. Look at the colours and that. Probably never been caught before. It's a long, lean, fighting machine this. I absolutely love it. Oh, let's put it back. Well yes, brilliant. Rod's been out since yesterday afternoon. That's my bottle rig from down the margin which went and I'm absolutely 100% if we weren't using that bottle I would have lost that then in that snag absolutely powered off and that bottle just tied it out It's tied out that much, it's coming. Oh, it feels a nice fish, this. It feels a nice fish. Oh, it feels like it feels very lumpish. Oh, yeah. I feel heavy, this thing. I feel like it's training something, but it feels heavy. <laughs> Feels a good fish. leader not there. <laughs> That's 50 pound big game a leader. Oh, 55 pound braid. That's a fox braid. Great stuff as well. <laughs> There's my bottle. My milk bottle rig, call it. <laughs> Be interesting to see what they 
these fish, they fight so hard in here. It's incredible, these river fish, the strength of them is immense. As long as it stays around here, it should be okay. They fight so hard, you always worry about hook poles and stuff like that. Such a nice fish, this. Every time it's a good fish when you get all the swirls coming up from underneath. Oh, 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 oh yes, oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's a lump, 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 lump of a river carp. Fish that. It's the beauty of fishing in the river, you never, never know what your next pickup is going to be from. And that is a beast of a fish. Looks actually quite deep as well for a river fish. I'm just not got rid of that lead. Lead's on a paper clip and obviously the paper clip's not um, straightened out on this one. That's a nice fish, that's a real nice fish. <laughs> Go on, it's almost ready. Go on, look at that. Oh, what a fish that is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That is some carp, that. Let's take the whole blank out. Oh, look at the width on that. That is a big, big river carp. Look how wide that is. <laughs> No wonder it um, fought like a powerhouse. Looked like bleeding Mike Tyson, that thing. There we go. Oh yes, have a look at that. That, have a look at that for a river cap. is a beast of a river carp, that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so have a look at this. This is what you call a beast of a river carp. It's 21 kilo, so it's about 46 pound. But people know me, I don't fish rivers for size, but <laughs> this is an heavy one. And what's such a beautiful fish too. And what an absolutely mega fight. Absolutely. Overjoyed with this one. Let's put him back. Let's get him back. <laughs> yes, sir. that's a beast of a river carp. So, so happy with that. So happy. If it wasn't using that bottle, I would have lost that on that initial run. It, it tried powering off to a snag, and the bottle just tied it out. It took about 30 yards, almost going to hit a snag, and it just, I could just feel it tiring. Yes sir! Well catching that carp was a great way to finish a trip and I'm doing what I like doing best and that's heading off back down the river just searching for the unknown 
Cheers for watching.